All right, guys, this is Norvo Central coming back at you with another YouTube video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday as we record this video and put it out today. I just wanted to kind of talk about the wide receiver position in the 24 class. You know, we've already got two uh, wide receivers in Camden Fryer and also TJ Abrams as well that we have committed to the class. But we're trying to add more prospects to that board. And I think when you look at it, I've talked about a Jeremiah Smith and Ohio State commit that's kind of a long shot right now, but Florida State is in communication. Nicar, the uh, Georgia commit as well. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. Chance Robinson, a four-star receiver out of out of uh, St. Thomas Aquinas. James Madison, another St. Thomas Aquinas kid that you have there. And then I want to talk about a wide receiver today that I think Florida State's got a decent chance at, and that's B.J. Gibson. I think this is a guy from the Georgia area, Wilcox County High School. Um, he has been on Florida State's radar for quite some time, and I think he's one of the more realistic targets so far. I mean, he decommitted from uh, Tennessee. He was playing baseball there. He's an outfielder and a pitcher as well. He's visited a couple of times at Florida State. He visited the last weekend before the dead period officially starts and got everything processed with that. So the whole month of February is basically a dead period at that point. I do expect him to be back on campus. And this is a guy that Florida State really, really likes. Six foot, 170 pounds. I think he's one of those guys that can play on the outside as well. Um, right now, he's ranked as the 47th best athlete in the country on the 247 uh, composite rankings as well. The 221st best prospect in the country right now. I only expect that rating to go up. It just kind of depends on if he wants to play two sports. And I definitely think he will at the next level because I do think he's that talented in terms of being a baseball player as well. But I think this is exactly what Florida State needs. I mean, they're going to probably need four to five prospects um, at the wide receiver position, whether it be some recruits, some transfer. It just kind of depends on how everything goes out. But then you got guys like Winston Wright who are going to be in their last year of eligibility. Micah Pittman also. And then you got a guy like Johnny Wilson who's a redshirt junior, and you pretty much expect him to probably be able to go if he does have the year that we all think he might have. If Florida State wins the national championship or goes to the playoff or has a successful season, I think this could all be situations where that wide receiver room could be ever changing. Now you do have Hakeem Williams and Goldie Lawrence and Dan Jervis Jacobs. You have guys like that that are waiting in the wings. Then you also have guys like Kentron Portier as well that are kind of stepping up their game and trying to get there. Darian Williamson is another guy I think that you can kind of turn to. What about a Joshua Burrell, Ja'Kai Douglas? I think there's a lot of guys in that room that I think you can kind of turn to, but I do think Gibson kind of brings that versatility that Abrams and also Fryer have, but they're both pretty much going to be probably slot receivers. Abrams is absolutely fast as crap, and you also look at Fryer, who I think is a legacy commit as well. This is a guy that knows the routes of Florida State with his dad and uncle playing at Florida State. I think that's very important going forward there. But Gibson is a guy I think that is the most realistic at this time. I definitely think that he can be a talent with that. And I definitely want to see how everything plays out as we navigate through the spring because spring practice does start on March the 6th. I think they're going to bring him on in a couple of visits. You probably see a spring game appearance there. And hopefully Florida State gets on the right track with that. And I think Ron Dugans would absolutely be cooking with hot grease if they're able to get three talented four-star wide receivers and continue to build on that room that everyone thought at one time was not very talented. And they couldn't create separation. They couldn't develop. They couldn't do this. But guess where Ron Dugans is at this point? He's developing and recruiting at a higher level now. And it's starting to pay off at this point. But I really appreciate all the love and support. If you could, please sure, uh, be sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. I'm trying to put out as much quality FSU content as I can. Trying to keep up with everything recruiting, especially considering this is a dead period. Everything's kind of silent right now, especially with football and also with that as well. Uh, we'll try to continue to have entertaining videos as we go along. But I think BJ Gibson is a guy that you need to monitor as we go through the spring. But I really appreciate all the love and support as always. Be sure to hit uh, the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the Instagram and also Twitter accounts of mine and be able to hit a follow on those as well. I try to put out quality content for those platforms as well. And I really appreciate all the love and support as always. And go Nose!